All right, y'all. This is a variation of Plan D. Could not get to Dolly Sods. Most of the roads were closed up that way. And uh, so we broke it off to Canaan Mountain. A nice little setup here and some spruces. There sets my Jeep back that way. Pooch dog. So we are car camping, or roadside camping, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the uh, <coughs> Route 50 was closed just beyond the Route 24 intersection. Uh, Canaan Valley, the uh, you could cross where the bridge goes over the river right there. Water was uh, maybe a little over a foot deep. And then I thought, well, Lane... Laneville Road is probably going to be a lot of slides and crap on it off that hillside. <clears throat> so I started down to Bonner Mountain Road. Got stopped by the Department of Highways at Route 72. But the road was closed ahead. You can't get to Harmon from Canaan. And uh, so I asked him, I said, well, Laneville Road? And he's like, I uh, wouldn't advise it. He said, I, I doubt that it's very good. So, didn't make it up there this trip. I seem to be having a lot of adventure that I didn't anticipate or expect. But this will turn out well, I think. I've camped here before. 2015, I camped here with Ivy. I'll let y'all go. Good morning. I'm too lazy to get a tripod or anything down. This might be a little shaky. Hopefully I don't spill my damn coffee. It's uh, July the 1st, about a little after 6.30. Heck, we've already had an exciting morning. About a little after 5, I could hear it sound like a deer bleating back through the woods. Well, about 10 minutes later, you know, I'm scratching her ears and we're chilling. And all of a sudden, she tries to go right through the side of the bug net on my hammock. So I had to hold on for dear life. Of course, I'm blind without my glasses on. Couldn't tell what the heck it was. I just figured it was Mama Deer. So anyway, took her up to the road to take a pee. and Well, I figured out what it was that went by. It was Mama Bear and a Cub, apparently. Uh, there are track, nice fresh tracks up there in the mud that weren't there last night. So I'd say it was Mama Bear and Cub. I'm glad I held on to her. That might not have ended well. And then, let's see, next excitement. Well, we made, uh, you know coffee and I had a uh, let's see it's Vermont smoke and cure beef stick I'm half bad and I had some uh, mixed nuts for breakfast should have been an ounce in that bag and I thought man I didn't see me many nuts in that bag so I uh, ate those got them all ate and noticed the bag had been gnawed on the bottom so some mouse helped itself to part of those nuts plus I ate nuts that some mouse had licked so that was fun. So I have to go up there at some point and get the mouse out of my Jeep because that's where I put my food bag. I figured, hey, why hang it? So I didn't have as many nuts this morning as I thought I was going to have. guess I'll have to have two cups of coffee. Well, that was my excitement of the day. I never did get to see the bears but because I was hanging on to her. So, well, I guess I'll... Uh, let y'all go this morning. Yeah, I've got my little Esbitt stove going on. Yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. Sorry, things are a little bit like, off on the side, but you know how it is. It's a beautiful morning. Temperature was between 50 and 55. Hard to beat that. It's really beautiful woods in here. Yeah, I'm in my hammock. I'm too lazy to get out. She has a nice backdrop of ferns there behind her. Makes her look like a queen. Well, I think my fire's out. May as well get my second cup of coffee made. Ciao.